have the LiDAR light from Pulse Light. This is a laser distance measurement device. The material. I've had this open before. There's some wiring. Here's the device itself. And there's some instructions. And the bill. Get rid of that. This is an I2C device similar to the IMU that we had the other day. So I'm going to show you how to hook it up to the Jetson. Here's some resources. Uh, you go to pulselight3d.com slash technical stuff so you can figure out what's going on. So basically plug this in here. Satisfying little snap. And you start wiring it up. So the red wire is the power wire. The difference between this and the IMUs is this runs off five volt power. So I'm plugging this into the red wire, which is plugged into pin number one on the Jetson JA31 connector. Then I'm going to hook up the ground. So it is the last wire here on the LiDAR light that goes into the black wire, which is See, it's JA31 pin 14, which is right there. The next pin over from the ground is SDA. And that goes into the gray wire here, which is wired to JA31. Pin number 20. And next over from SDA is the clock, SCL. And I'm going to plug that into the white wire, which is plugged into JA3116. It has a couple of extra wires here. They're used for more advanced functions. I'm not going to use those. What I'm going to do is just take some tape and cover them up because I don't like them running around loose. Free range. The actual ends of the pins are just tinned with solder. And this is obviously not a permanent solution for wiring these things up. But it will serve the purposes of the demo. So let me power the Jetson up and let's take a look at how it works. What we're going to do now is install a little library I wrote to interface the LiDAR light to the Jetson. First we need to go to the Jetson Hacks GitHub account. Gage LiDAR light is the name of the repository. We have a couple of requirements. So we'll run those. So we should be able to check for the LiDAR light on the ITC bus. Do that by 
this command. And there it is. Good old number 62. Next we'll load up the library. So we'll grab the clone. Address. And we have an example, so let's switch over to the example. So then we make this. We should be ready to go. Sudo. It's important that we do sudo here because we want access to the I2C bus, and it's normally restricted in user space. So now you can see that we have distance information, the previous distance, and the velocity change. So when I move my hand up and down, you can see that the distance changes. Move it around the room, you get different different values. Hit escape to get out of this. This gives you a better visual indication of what's going on. So you notice now when I move my hand here, you'll see that the height changes. This is the velocity graphed out. You see that when I move my hand away, velocity changes quite a bit. So this can help you determine when things are coming at you fast or going away from you fast. And I can also take the sensor now and move it around, point out the window here so it's quite far away. And you see the minus one centimeter, then there's no return coming back at it. You see now when I'm printing showing you at the monitor, off into another room. Kind of gives you a feel for how far things are away from you. Look over into the other room. And they say it's accurate to around one centimeter. Thank mm -hmm. you.